Welcome everyone. You all can come right on in. Nice, nice to meet you nice and Felicity. Felicity. Hi. Hi. Just go on and take a seat. Hi. Hi. Thank you for coming. Welcome. <coughs> Hi. All right, welcome everyone. Thank you for coming today. Um, my name is Felicity. And this is, you call me Miss Potter. Miss Potter. Um, so today we're going to give you some helpful advice. Um, answer any questions you have regarding peer mediation. Um, of course, each session is unique and a lot of different things can arise that you might need some help with dealing, um, dealing with each thing as they come and knowing how to handle each situation. So if you have any questions, um, just raise your hand. Go! <laughs> uh, what happens if someone gets sick during a mediation? Like uh, diarrhea or like any... they're gonna throw up, like did they throw up already any kind of sickness i guess well they're probably lying i mean i mean i would say so. i would say that obviously assess the situation so if you feel like they are lying yeah you can pull them aside and talk to them yeah. are you lying not maybe not so directly um just let them say what they're experiencing okay and that will help you um, deal with the rest of the session. If they are indeed feeling sick and they, Stay aren't, back. they aren't able to um, continue with the session, I would say that you should try to reschedule. You can either reschedule right there, as it's you know right there on the spot, or reschedule at a later date when they're feeling better and they're able to finish. I w yeah, but like try to get it done, because you know, time is money. Uh, Denny Denmark. Yeah, what what if what if one of them obviously is totally when you're talking to them not telling the truth? They're lying. Well, not necessarily. Um, that's actually a perfect scenario um, in uh, the mediation process because there are dual narratives, right? People have conflicting perspectives and opinions of what happened that they think are true. So we need to be sensitive to that um, and try to draw out each experience so that maybe they can both see the similarities of the actual situation. Um, if that doesn't help and somebody's being really adamant about their uh, opinions and what they think to be true, I would, pull, I would pull them aside. Mm -hmm. Cock it out. Yes, and have a caucus. Um, to talk about what happened and that could feasibly help you. Just good cop, bad cop. Good cop, bad cop, back and forth. They'll break. Peter? Um, what if in the course of the mediation I realize that I am connected to the dispute personally? Um, in that case, I think the best thing uh, would be to evaluate for yourself um, whether you think you will be able to be impartial. Um, so if you have a personal tie to the situation or if there's something going on for you that you think that you are unable to be impartial, um, definitely say, you know, maybe we should stop this right now just to reschedule um, so you can talk to your co-mediator to um, see what's going on. And um, if that doesn't work and you think that the situation is too um, close to you, um, like if you like if you've made out with them or like if you have like you mean like uh, first no, not not necessarily. I no. mean that would be one uh, example of being unable to be impartial. It would be kind of inappropriate for you to continue um, being their mediator. Well, but like. I well like I was mediating this thing the other day mm -hmm. and the guy on the is this guy and this girl and like like we'd pretty much like made out. Yeah, before. so, so um, I think the best I think the best thing for you to do would just to anything. be to reschedule or um, seems like there's conflicting opinions. Well, you know, you she yeah, you could 
do that. You could also just like just don't tell them because like think, what they don't I think know. Finding will hurt another them. another mediator would be the best bet. It's up to you, man. Um, I have a question, Sammy. Yeah. Um, what happens if it turns out that there might be a threat of violence if they are arguing so much that they might actually try and fight it out? Well, get ready to get between them just in case, and then. If they feel if you if you're like they're gonna hit each other, just be like, just like you gotta remain calm and then just tell them to take it outside. Cause you I I I would politely disagree. Um, so I think that first, if it's during the initial stages of the mediation process and it's only it's verbal, um, I would reference the the guidelines that you set up um, at the start of the mediation. So remind them that it's a, a process that's meant to be everyone is respected and everyone's meant to be heard um, if it is physical and they are um, showing physical signs of getting into a fight then you want to take it outside because no you would uh, tell the advisor who's there with you um, and remind them that if the mediation process isn't going to work um, then disciplinary action would have to be taken. What if, what if one of the kids threatens me or another mediator and tries to hurt us? Police. Call the police. Well, or cock it out. If you need to, your advisor is also an adult presence there to help you uh, evaluate something like that that is pretty much beyond um, you know, simple talking. And also, I just want to remind you, if, if you feel like it is one person who is the aggressor, and the other person is just a victim and it seems more like a bullying situation. Um, in that instance, bullying isn't something that we can mediate. It would have to be uh, dealt with by um, the school. Also, just be aware of like how big, like when you're, like how big their muscles are, like when you're looking at who it is. Because if they're going to hit you, if it's someone who's like got, they're like ripped, just maybe like call the police right away. Or like if they're, yeah, but if they're I, like I would, freshmen, I would caution against um, profiling any any people who are a part of the process because of like don't how say it out, look. yeah, don't say it out loud. But in your head, be like, okay, big guy, kind of big guy, yeah, or girl. All right, are there any more questions? No. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for coming today. Um, Peer mediation is a really great thing, and I'm proud of you all uh, for deciding to help out your community. And uh, I know it can be difficult sometimes, and problems do arise, uh, case by case situation, but um, it's really rewarding, and I hope you guys enjoy the process. And you get out of class, and like people think you're like really cool. <laughs> also, call me if you. I, okay, I think we're done for the day, all right? So if you guys want to follow me right through here. Thank you. See you guys later. Cock it out.